Uh, our third stem disease is black knot of cherry. And this particular fungus infects cherry. And so if you know the host and you can recognize the bark, it's uh, much easier to identify. This is how black knot of cherry is typically seen. Uh, it produces this fruiting structure, this growth, which tends to be black, encircles the stem. And here's on a smaller stem here. And likewise here on a smaller stem. And a little bit here on the smaller stem. But it can also get on larger stems, and it looks a little bit different. This too is black knot of cherry. It does not encircle the stem. It is a cherry. It's causing a canker and killing the cambium. And so we have the fungal growth here. This is black knot of cherry. Here's another example, probably from the same tree. Again, it's elongated. It doesn't go all the way around like some of these other do on these examples. Black knot of cherry can also form a little gall or a round thing like this. Black knot of cherry. And even on larger stems like this one, uh, produces a huge swelling with the black oozing off the tree and the stem. And much different than the others that, that we have seen. Uh, we talked about nectary canker, which is target shaped. And this is certainly not target shaped. We talked about hypoxylin canker, which tends to be flat and has the fruiting structure. This doesn't have this. But this will have the black growth encircling the small stems, or partial the small stems, or in the case of a larger stem, just on one side of the large stem. So black knot of cherry.